Hi all, good day. In this video, we are going to see the concepts of cloud identity and access management. It is simply referred to as cloud IAM. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSparks channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to discuss on these topics in this video. What is Cloud IAM? Cloud IAM is a service used to define authorization and authentication. Who has what permissions on which resources are governed by Cloud IAM? It also gives you full control and visibility to manage Google Cloud resources centrally. Some of the Cloud IAM features are Enterprise-grade access control It gives built-in audit feature Cloud identity support Fine-grained access control from top level to the bottom level of your organizations It is very simple to use And of course, it is completely free of charge Let us see how Cloud IAM works Actually, Cloud IAM needs to give access to the persons or the identities who needs to access GCP. So, what is identity? It is the unique representation of a user which is used to access the resources of GCP. Usually, these identities will have a username and the password to access the GCP resources. These identities can be from different entities. It can be from a regular individual Google account which ends as gmail.com. It can be a service account. Service accounts are not the real user identities. Service accounts are usually used by some other application to access Google Cloud Platform. For example, if an automation engine wants to deploy resources in GCP, it needs a service account with necessary permissions. It can also be from a Google Groups accounts. At last, it can be from Cloud Identity or Google Workspace organizational account. Google Workspace is formally called as G Suite. The organizational user accounts will ends with organizational domains. Collectively, all together, who is nothing but the user identities here. In Cloud IAM, permissions are not given directly to the resources. Instead, similar permissions are grouped into an entity called as roles. Every role will have multiple permissions at the back. We can see some of the Google defined roles right over here. Only roles which has necessary access or the permissions will be tagged to the user identities. With these roles, user can access the concerned resources. Understanding Roles and Permissions GCP provides three different types of roles. They are primitive roles, predefined roles or curated roles and custom roles. Within primitive type, we have three roles that is viewer, editor and owner. These primitive roles are not fine-grained with permissions. For example, if a person is assigned with a viewer role, then he or she can view all the resources within the concerned project or the organizational level wherever it is assigned. Next is predefined roles or curated roles. These roles provide granular access to specific GCP resources. For example, if a person is assigned a compute admin role, then that person can gain control over Google Compute Engines only and not for other resources. If there is no specific roles for your custom requirements, then you can start creating your own custom roles. In this architecture, you can see how Cloud IAM operates with roles and identities. Here, you can see Compute Viewer role is assigned to a user identity. So, Whenever this user identity logs into GCP, he can only access or view the compute engines. This user identity cannot access the other resources at all. Understanding Policies 
Normally, you can assign one or more roles to a single identity. What happens if you want to assign roles to multiple identities at the same time? For this, we need to use IAM policies. What is a policy? A policy is a collection of bindings. A binding binds one or more members or user identities or principles to a single role. Principles or user identities can be user accounts, service accounts, Google groups and domains. A role contains list of permissions. Given here is a sample policy written in JSON format. In this example, we can see that the organizational admin role is assigned to user mike at the rate of example.com, group admins at the rate of example.com and similarly for domains and service accounts. Also within the same policy, organizational viewer role is assigned to user eve at the rate of example.com. So these policies makes it easier to assign multiple roles to multiple user identities. We can also add conditions to this policy. A condition can add constraints based on the attributes of the request, resource or both. IAM resource hierarchy. With the help of Google Cloud IAM, you can control the access of a user in each and every level of your GCP organization. Here, if you see admin at the rate of vsparks.com is assigned with the owner role at the organizational level. This owner role is inherited across all the levels down to the bottom. Similarly, if you see user1 at the rate of vsparks.com is assigned with the viewer role to the automobiles folder. So he can view all the resources within the automobiles folder but he cannot access the resources present in the machineries. We can also assign the user identities at the project level as well. In this case, he or she will be having access only to the assigned projects and its resources. Well, that's it for this lecture. This is the summary that we have discussed so far in this video. Thank you from vSparks and thank you for watching this video.